not no terrorists, we not no gangsters, we revolutionaries, and that's how we Hey, ain't this the same nigga that just went and, and denounced his game tie saying, I don't want to be a 60 no more. I don't want to be a crip no more. It's too rough out here. And it's too rough out here in these gang streets, man. I thought I thought it was easy cripping from cripping from Georgia. I could be the biggest crip in Georgia because we ain't got no enemies. But as soon as I go to LA, my homie got smoked because I was because I'm a 60 and and and, and, and I inherit they beef. I don't want to be that no more. <laughs> that was a great voiceover, huh? Great voiceover. <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what the homie say right here. He say he not crip because these uh, charges was coming. Y'all being biased. No, 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 no. Hold up. Money, money. Click the link, money. Click the link, money. You got to say this in my face. No type nothing. If you going to defend this nigga, get on the panel. Yeah. Do not defend this nigga on no keyboard shit. I want to see your face. If your face is if your face gator, get on the platform, nigga. Because, no, we're not being biased, bro. That nigga denounced his cripping, bro, because his homie got killed, homie. His homie got killed in front of his eyes, and that's the first time he's seen some real gang banging. That nigga was a gang member. He went to L.A. and seen some real Gang banging. That's why that nigga denounced his motherfucking cripping. And on top of that, and on top of that, to add with it, uh, uh, young uh, money. Nine top ten, you probably a youngin, and you ain't either you ain't gang a gang banger your damn self, or you ain't experienced gang banging, or you probably trying to gang bang. So that's why you coming on to defend. Hey, listen, man, this, it, we having a party, man. It's all love, it's all respect. If you feel like you want to protect. Or you want to defend the honor of this little skinny, bony, young dummy that we're talking about? Then it's cool. You can defend that stupid dinner. Just pop on 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 the link. Hit the link and appear. Don't turn. Don't don't keyboard warriors. We don't want to fight with no keyboard warriors. This ain't about fighting. It's about a debate, and it's a great debate for those who understand the truth and those who understand facts. That's why they popping on here with their comments, and their comments are all legitimate, and they understand. You feel me? And those who want to defend him because you're naive, and you're blind, and you're young, and you ain't never experienced shit, so you just going with what the internet tell you, then pop on, show your face, and let's talk about it, baby. As Goldie was saying, Goldie voice, let's talk about it. Don't run like Uncle said. He don't want a keyboard warrior. Uncle said he want to see your damn gator face, nigga. Yeah. Cravers and all, nigga. Show your face. Hey, that's Let's one thing. Talk about hey, it, hey, that's one thing about Big Unk, man. Nigga know my face, Jack. Hey, hey, BJ, I ain't tell you about the time I did a video reaction for uh for Project Bo, right? Shout out to Bo, man. And his homie was a feature in the video, right? I'm on and I'm on his homie ass. I say, oh, this nigga can't rap. Oh, this nigga trash, trash. So I pulled up. To do the interview in the Pueblos. I ain't recognize the nigga. So I'm talking to Bo. The nigga say, What's up, man? And you know, Bo into the air. This the, the uh this my nigga Spliff. Woo woo. He said, Yeah, I know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout to the homie though, man. He kept it, but he kept the gangster, but he was in his feelings though, Dad. He was in his feelings. But hey man, you gotta be gay around here. Hey, respect for Los Angeles. Hey, hey, Brown One. Hey, money. Money, click this link, Jack. We want to talk to you. We want yeah, to talk say, He said he ain't defending nobody, man. Well, come holler at his young money. Round one in the building. What's up, round one? Yeah, shout out to shout in the building. Shout out to Ice. And MX. All right, so big cap, this eyes, this eyes going down. Quando Rondo has caught himself up in a Chapman County, state of Georgia, gang. Street Gang Terrorism RICO Act and Conspiracy to Violate the Georgia Control Substance Act. Nigga, let... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Let me say it one more time. 
Street gang terrorism. Nigga, they threw terrorism in that motherfucker. <laughs> Pull up, boy, pull up, boy, man. Pull up, boy, man. I, I feel sorry for the younger now, man, because he didn't know no better. All these little young niggas should just be, be rappers, bro, and rap and do their music, man. This shit ain't for y'all, man. Y'all not cut out for this shit, bro. Damn. Mm -mm. Street Damn, thing. Unk. Yeah, that's unk. hard. He ain't that no beat, no charges. Ain't no, so that's. Think about this off top. Ain't no beat, no charges. This is the Rico case, which means they build cases on you, young. And they let, they let all y'all do what I keep telling y'all. The feds is different from the states and the locals. The locals will sit there and build a case in two, three weeks and come get you. And you fuck around and you get out. You know what I'm saying, me? You'll get out because all kind of technicalities in your favor because they dumbass jumped the gun on a case. The feds is different, bro. They're a different breed. Them some bitches is like the lion in the jungle. They will sit there and wait patiently. Don't let him let him eat. Let him eat for both five, four, five years. Let's see how big he go. Let's see if he if he hit platinum. So we gonna take all that shit. We are gonna tear him all the way down when we come get him. We ain't gonna play play. And that's what's about to happen to young Quando Rondo dummy. You young big dummy in my red fox voice. You dummy. All you dummies just falling right now, man. Y'all don't see what's going on, man. Hey, a, a, a white girl. All right, we understand that. But it's still, Georgia is known to slap these cats with Rico cases and hide them. Look what they look what they do in the YFN. Why YFN, they offer him a 20-year uh, uh, plea, plea deal, bro. 20-year. 20 20-year. 20 Come on, bro. Georgia, uh, 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 what's the uh, what's the other little young cat, uh, uh, hood rich Pablo Juan? We still ain't seen him. He been locked up by four years, and we still ain't seen him yet. Georgia hit a little bit different with they Rico. You might as well say it's a fair case when Georgia hit you with it, Jack, because I ain't seen now one of these rappers yet be the Georgia Rico case. And on top of that, uh, what, what was that person's name? Hawaii or Hawaiian or something? Hawaii girl. Okay, so that was a young lady, a woman. Um, yeah. th listen, uh, Miss Hawaiian girl, it sounds like you from Hawaii because you repping Hawaii. Shout out to you if that's where you at. Uh, don't get it, Mr. Screw Mama. Don't get it, Mr. Screw Mama, in my goldy voice. What you misinterpreted, misunderstanding is this. It don't have to be the feds. The RICO Act is equivalent to the feds, Mama. Don't you see? Don't you get it? It don't have to be the feds now. The states and the locals, they got smart enough because they all then went behind closed doors and they came up with these Yugoslavia-ass Jewish district rules and these laws now, these new laws that they just set in place for the newer generations to take our youngsters down. Take us down. Okay. Stupid individual, Quando, Rondo, dummy, dummy, man. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go. Because Hawaiian girl was feeling kind of sorry and said it ain't a federal case, but damn it, it's a Rico case. You think that's even easier? You think that's more more a uh, uh, gentle mama? Hell no. That means that city want his ass. That's yeah, yeah. City that and city want. So let me give you a little back. Let me give you a little background on this cap. So in April, according to the indictment, uh, 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 Bowman, which is uh, Quando Rondo, instructed a co-conspirator to negotiate marijuana prices with another co-conspirator's father. On June fourth, Bowman, Quando Rondo, and other co-conspirators allegedly traveled to Macon. To purchase marijuana. On June 12th, Bowman, Quando Rondo, who the indictment states was managing the rolling 60s game, directed other game members to not to not carry firearms and cards he rode in. According to the indictment, other game members trafficked more than four grams of cocaine, about 20 grams of M30 pills hydrocodone pills, and 28 grams of fentanyl. Some used jail phones to schedule drug sales. Others sold drugs out of a house located at, I ain't going to give the address, but they actually have the physical address on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is after he
he supposedly denounced his game ties. Hey, man, shout out to Derek Mallory, man. Shout out to you, homie. Hey, listen, man. Then This is on stupid on top of stupid, right? Now, the younger trying to be safe and precautious. All right, don't put no guns in my vehicle. Anybody riding with me don't ride. But you niggas is riding dirty. And this is the crazy part about it. How do you go from streaming and selling music and making hundreds of thousands to nigga, you selling 28 grams? <laughs> Pills. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I thought you was going to tell me 28 pounds. <laughs> a pill. Feel me? I thought you could tell me $15 million street value of pills. See, this, these niggas is running around here with bullshit, man, and got Rico ass. <laughs> but Kimball's in bits, bro. Oh, man. Show y'all young homies and go to show y'all here, TV Land, how they setting our youngsters up for bullshit, but giving you football field times and, and baseball and, and basketball number times, man, for kibbles and bits. You made this shit up. 28 oh. grams. Four grams of cocaine, some fucking pills. Or a, a, a raggedy treehouse. I'm finna get on your ass, nigga. So you telling me, nigga, that 28 grams of fentanyl is personal use? Nigga, 28 grams of fentanyl will kill half a damn city. No, he, no, 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 no. He may have a point, huh? He's saying personal use quantities. Like, that's their personal shit. Like these niggas riding around, getting high, but they still they still using their own shit. I mean, he make a point, but then you make a great point too, though, huh? But it's nevertheless, the bottom line is they ain't got no weight, is what we say in Raggedy Treehouse. These motherfuckers ain't getting indicted and Rico acts for pounds and warehouses and shipments. These niggas got kibbles and bits, man. Give us a bitch. And just a little quick note, a uh, treehouse. Traf uh, if convicted of trafficking uh, in uh, 28 grams or more of fentanyl, a judge can impose a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison, but it's required to impose a mandatory minimum of 25 years. Huh? Maybe they didn't hear you, huh? I don't think they heard you. They don't think, oh, you want me to say yeah. it again? Yeah, I don't think they heard you. If convicted of trafficking, which he, which, which is basically what's going on, because they said he picked it up in Macon. If convicted of trafficking 28 grams or more of fentanyl, a judge can impose a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison, but is required to impose a mandatory minimum sentence of 25 years. So, Maybe we need to explain that to them. Uh, uh, uh. Maximum, minimum. Which means it's required from the judge, no matter what, give them a minimum. So if the judge decides he want to be lean, he's going to say, all right, the max carries 35, but I'm going to give you 26. Above the minimum. I'm going to give you one extra year as the minimum, which carries 26 years. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. So... Uh, does the federal case and the RICO case makes a difference still to you, uh, Miss Hawaiian girl? Hell I hope we no. answered your question and broke that down for you, mom. So, Cap, it's it's hard to fit now. That's the worst charge. Come on, that's the Chinese drug, man. When y'all gonna learn? When y'all gonna wake up, man? Stop. Come on, man. When the fuck y'all gonna catch on, man? I gave the information up to the world, man. When y'all gonna catch on? You damn right them the worst charges because that's the Chinese made man drug, man. They flipped over here on our ass. And anybody mm -hmm. caught with that shit in America, you they gonna hide that. They, they gonna hide your ass. Yeah, you 20, going Bro, 25 minimum, bro. That's crazy. How many grams of fitting did they have, huh? Right at 28. Okay, 28 grams. We talking about a, a little bit down there. I had an ounce. An ounce. They all feel say primary ounce. Yeah. The equivalent of cocaine down there have an ounce. Okay. Again, you niggas finna go do 25 years of your life for 28 grams, bro. And you was just in a position to make millions. All you had to do was do music and be a rapper. Not a gang member. Not a gang banger from out of LA. Nor Atlanta. All your little young Jack dumb Jack Daniels dumb dumb ass had to do was 
rap. Tell your real life stories. You a poor little nigga that came from a poor situation, or you had a mama and mama and daddy who actually took care of you. Tell the truth. Tell your story. Stop trying to project these fucking images because it don't fit none of you niggas. If you wasn't really born in that shit and you wasn't cut from that diaper, because you niggas ain't from cloths. I mean, let's face it. It just, this ain't the era of cloths. We come from the cloth areas. It's diapers and pampers. And if you wasn't born in that diaper or pamper era where you really cut from that shit, man, leave it alone, young homies. Leave it alone, youngsters. Fuck this gang gang shit. Leave that shit alone. Man, listen, don't you know I get tired of having to argue with old niggas or older niggas or niggas in my era and my bracket. You see how niggas want to come on here and niggas want to claim they sets and they gangs to act they think tougher than Dow all of a sudden. Hey, nigga, where was you niggas at when I was out of retirement and I was really banged out in this motherfucker and I was getting down with the get down? Where was all you niggas at then? He left from becoming a successful young millionaire, being able to take his family out of whatever situation they are in to now, nigga, you got to go eat soups, cornbread. Hey, you want that cornbread, little corn dough? <laughs> oh, man, our poor little boy, man, he finna have pride, man. He finna, man, he finna rupture that little nigga spleen up in there, man, for all that shit he talked on the internet. Think about it. I don't know. Then again, you know, ATL, man, you know, we, we've been seeing the ATL prison systems, and they prison systems been looking like Disneyland around this motherfucker. So niggas might enjoy going in and paying the ATL, man. I don't know. I ain't discriminating. Yeah. I'll just tell you what's on the internet, niggas. Hey, but but it uh it still it, it just don't look good for him, bro. Uh, and I, I I'm I'm in total agreement with you. How did you go from being a platinum rapper signed to NBA Young Boy, putting out putting out hits, street hits, street anthems, to becoming a, a uh, allegedly becoming a, a, a drug trafficker? It doesn't make sense. Because somebody, somebody them said he's a Similac baby. He's a Similac baby. And that's a great word, a great terminology for phrase that we're going to use from here on out, too. With the children of the corn, we got Similac babies. Similac. You niggas are peppers and diapers. Similac babies, man. Similac You niggas ain't even sucked on titties. We sucked on titties growing up. We had real healthy milk from our mamas. You niggas are Similac babies. Hey, good looking out for that, somebody. You niggas are Similac babies, man. Straight Similac babies. It's a different. We just living in a different world, different breed, bro. It's simple. Similac it's babies. I like that one. Derek Mallory said he going to get extorted and used in prison. Well, you know that's coming, Derek. This is another 69 situation. He ain't going to go to prison too long. He ain't going to be there that long. When that boy go get that quick experience and get that whiff, he coming up out of there. He finna wheel and deal. That's my prediction. I don't give a damn who don't like it. Yeah. Straight up. I don't give a shit who don't like it. That's my prediction. Rondo Quando Dondo, the dummy, is about to go wheel and deal, man. He ain't going for that shit. He ain't built for no 25 years, and he just announced and said, did I tell you I was no 60 no more? No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you think he's, boy, look here. Shit. Quando Dondo finna going in. What y'all need? Uh-uh, no, uh, uh what, what y'all need? Look, I got you. Hey, yeah. Uh, shit, boy. So y'all get ready, Atlanta. It's finna be some more Rico acts going down. Some doors finna get kicked in because uh, it's finna be another 69 hit the streets. So we destroyed ourselves. We fucked over ourselves, bro. Both ways, male and females. The cockroachism was real, man. These devils ain't playing with us out here, man. What the fuck? And then you want to come over here and feel sorry for this dumb idiot who was a millionaire going to jail now for to eat juke balls and spaghetti. And, and, and lick somebody booty hole. <laughs> I ain't giving a fuck. I ain't giving no sympathy, nigga. That's the same nigga was out here talking about nigga. My crippin is impeccable. My crippin is ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> so the mighty W and the great horns, man. Watch Texas. We are taught to. Da, 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 da. Survive, and we out this bitch. Ha!